What up, we're back on the ladder and we're going to be using the same team as last video this time because I do think that it has more potential and we do have some fun mods to still work with here. So of course we are bringing back Infernate, back Excalibur, we got Claude Sire, Espeon, we got Ursaluna and Gyarados as well. But looking at my opponent's team, uh, they got a lot of threats, a lot of, you know, your standard regulation H mons here. We got Dragonite, Primarina, Archaludon, Goldengo, but they are bringing in Center Order singles along with a Garchomp. So I am kind of interested to see how this goes. Um, but for their lead, I mean, it's probably going to be either Archaludon or Incineroar for that parting shot. So I think either way, uh, I don't want to lead Infernape here. I probably, probably just lead Ursaluna, which is kind of weird, at least for me to lead Ursaluna. But I think it's kind of our best option. And then, uh, let's see... I don't know, I kind of like, I kind of like doing here, I don't know, Gyarados might be good for Intimidate, that's definitely an option, so we could bring that, and I think I want to go ahead and bring Espeon here, actually, uh, just for that extra power, and I think we'll be good here, uh, Bax Calibur might have been good, but we're going to go with this. So, the uh, Polka Paste for this team will be in the description, of course. You can go check that out, as always. Whatever you want to do with it, it's yours, along with the playlist of all of my other Battle Stadium videos. But, getting into this, they are going to want to lead with the Incineroar, of course. So, that's why I didn't want to bring Infernape or lead with them, because that Intimidate wouldn't be great for us. So, I think what we end up doing here is just go for this Earth Power. Uh, he is going to get that parting shot off before us, though, unfortunately. So, I did think about going for the Blood Moon regardless, but hopefully he doesn't switch into the Dragonite here. It is a possibility. Okay, we are going to end up seeing the Primarina. Okay, well at least we get a hit off on this thing. Let's see if he's AV or not. Uh, I don't think he is, actually. I don't think he's AV. So what I can do, uh, I think I just go into Gyarados here. No point in really staying in here. That's just kind of a death sentence for us. I mean, we could Terra, but I don't want to do that just yet. So we'll scout things out with Gyarados, because we can take pretty much anything here. This Sparkling Aria, uh, let's see how much that does. Yeah, it does a little bit, but not enough to really make me worry. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually get off a Thunder Wave here, if at all possible. Because this will at least reveal if he's specs. Okay. So he's not specs. He could actually be Assault Vest. Now that I think about it. The Life Orb might have negated that Intimidate damage. So, uh, what we can do here, I think, I just go for Earthquakes. Just get as much damage off as I can. Let's see how much this does. Okay. Uh, that flip turn. Okay, not going to do too much to us. And you will take Rocky Helmet damage. So this Primarina is honestly as good as dead. Like honestly. With that Rocky Helmet damage he's down low and he's paralyzed. So we don't really have to worry too much about that. So we will see the Incineroar here. Uh, that Intimidate is going to be a little scary for us. But I think I just go for a Waterfall here. Okay let's see how much this does. Okay. Not a whole lot. He is going to be pretty defensive. That Will-O-Wisp is going to be pretty bad for us. But that's okay. We could still get off Thunder Waves if need be. So, uh, we know we outspeed. That's the good thing. I could Thunder Wave this guy as well. <laughs> I could just stay here and Thunder Wave this guy as well. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Well, I don't know what he can do to me offensively. Is the thing. But he is going to stay in. So that's interesting. I'll take a little bit of burn damage here. But I will switch. I will switch. I will go into Ursa Luna here. Yet again. So there we go. We got our Gyarados back. And now I will just pop Blood Moon here. We'll just go for Blood Moon to get as much damage off as I can. He is going to get paralyzed. My para hacks is insane. If you haven't seen last video with my paralysis, that's just... It's really good right now, that's all I gotta say. But, I'll go for this Blood Moon. He is gonna withdraw. Let me guess. If he has Dragonite, I'm gonna imagine it will be that. No, we are actually gonna see the Primarina again. 
which kind of sucks because it means we can't use our Blood Moon next turn, but at least we take care of this thing. I did have the thought that he would go into Primarina and just sack it off, but it is what it is. So now, uh, at least we know that we probably outspeed the Incineroar now that he's paralyzed, which is really good for us. So we might end up seeing his last Mon here. Which, yeah, we are, and it's going to be the Archaludon. But this is fine. Like, this is fine. I can just go for Earth Power. He might Terra, but, like, there's not a whole lot he can do. He's not Air Balloon. That Body Press. Yeah, we do live that. I'm sorry to tell you. And this Earth Power will just take care of you. We are the Archaludon counter. So down he goes. And now we just got to worry about the Incineroar, but he is paralyzed, like I said. So this should actually just be an easy cleanup here. Let's see, there he is. Got Intimidate. Of course, isn't going to do anything to us. And I will just go for this Earth Power. Yep, battle with canceled. Okay, perfect. Very good first match. So Ursaluna putting in work here, showing that it still has it in Regulation Age, probably more so than the past regulations, because we don't even have to worry about Legendaries, and we're pretty much Legendary status ourselves. But let's go ahead, get into another one with this team. Okay, this time we got Titar, Serena, King Gambit, Whimsicott, Milotic, and Torkoal. So kind of don't want to deal with Whimsicott or Torkoal, gotta be honest. Uh, I guess... What we do here, they probably want to lead Whimsicott. If I had to guess, they probably want to lead with that. So, um, I think... I think I just lead back Excalibur here. That's what I do. They can't really do much to me aside from King Gambit. So, we'll do that. Uh, Intimidate is going to be very nice here. It's going to be very nice here. Unless, of course, they have Defiant on King Gambit. Which could be a little scary. Um... You know, I'll bring our Saluna again. And then... Espeon isn't looking great here. Uh, Infernape also not looking too nice. To be honest. Eh, you know what? You know what? We actually are looking a little good here. Uh, my low tick could be a threat. But we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. We'll bring Infernape this time. So, let's go ahead and get into this one. Okay. He is going to go ahead and lead with the T-Tar, which is fine by me. It's fine by me. We might have to Terra here, because we probably don't live an Earthquake or anything else that this guy wants to go for. So I will actually go for this Terra and just pop the D-Dance here. Kind of scout out what he wants to go for. Uh, I'm going to guess. I mean, maybe he wants to set up a D-Dance. Maybe he's running my set that I use on T-Tar, but... Regardless, we will go ahead and get the whole ass earth on our head. You know how it goes. And let's see. We do outspeed already. So even if he de-dances, we don't gotta worry about too much. Okay, he's just gonna go for the rock slide. We will take that very nicely. Very, very nicely will we take that. And I'll just go for this EQ. We'll just go for this EQ. I imagine he's not sashed, although he could be. Which is honestly really funny that T-Tar has to run Sash these days. But he isn't going to be Sash himself. So, we take care of the T-Tar. Okay, let's see. Is this going to be a back sweep? We are set up. We are set up here. His next one is going to be the Whimsicott. Okay. So, I'll just go for the Ice School Spear here. Uh, he will, of course, outspeed us with the Prankster. Oh, he's not even going to go for any Prankster hits, though. Okay. We land this, and it will take three to take care of him. But we do get rid of the Whimsicott. Okay, let's see what the next one is. I guess. This is going really well, though. This is probably just a back sweep. <laughs> okay, his last one is going to end up being the Serena, which we can also take care of with an Icicle Spear. I mean, he could Terra. Should have thought about that. He might Terra here. But... Uh, we should still get off pretty good damage. I imagine he's going to be Terra Fire, if anything. No, he's just going to cancel. Okay, I guess he wasn't. All right, so there we go. Second match is a back sweep. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into another one, though, because these are pretty quick games today. All right, this time we're working with Palma. We got Salamence, Archaludon, Primarina, Titar, and Skeledurge. So, 
uh, some interesting mons on their team. I am kind of excited to see Pomot if they bring it. I know Skeledurge can be kind of annoying, so we will be bringing Gyarados for that, of course. Uh, and probably Ursaluna as well, but let's see what they want to lead with. Um, you know, I don't even want to chance it if they lead with Archiludon, so we'll just go Ursaluna here. And I will bring Gyarados, and then... Uh, fuck it. I like Espeon here. Espeon here. We'll go with that. So let's go ahead and get into this one and see what they want to lead with, of course. Okay, this guy is going to go ahead and lead with his Archiludon. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So we will just, of course, pop that Earth Power right here, first and foremost. We don't even want to chance it. Don't like letting this thing set up. And of course, as we've seen in the last battles, uh, that body press isn't going to kill us, even if he wants to outspeed and go for it. So, uh, he will just go for a Dragon Pulse. I respect that. Getting off as much damage as you can. I will respect that. But this Earth Power will take him down to his Sturdy. Okay, interesting. Sturdy Archiludon. So, of course, we gotta take that Life Orb damage, which is pretty bad for us, actually. But this Vacuum Wave will take care of him. He is gonna switch, actually, but we outspeed, I think, with our other Mons. So, whatever comes in here uh, will at least take a bit of a Vacuum Wave. Yeah, just a tiny bit of damage. We probably end up taking more with the last two turns Life Orb. But, uh, we'll go ahead and... Do I stay in here? No... No, I'll go Gyarados. Go Gyarados. I'll save Ursaluna just a little bit because Vacuum Wave might end up helping us. Might end up helping us a little bit. So, uh, we'll go Gyarados. Probably resist anything he wants to go for. Uh, no, he does want to go for the Psychic Noise. We still take that, though, very nicely. So, I'm actually going to go for a Thunder Wave here. I think it's worth it, especially... To let our Ursaluna outspeed if we do end up having to go back into it. And if he switches, because we're kind of at a stalemate here. But no, he doesn't switch. I do get to go for the T-Wave. So let's see, can I get the hacks? Can I get the hacks yet again? No, we will end up having to take a Moonblast, which is going to do a good bit. Oh no, my special attack. Okay. Let's go... Uh, let's go for flinches. Let's just go for these Iron Hoods. Flinch and para chance. Pretty good. Okay, we get the para. Very nice, very nice. Uh, let's just keep going for it. Let's be annoying. Flinch and para hex. Okay, we get a crit. Citrus? Citrus berry primarina? I kind of respect it. Primarina's pretty bulky. Okay, our para hex is out of control. <laughs> We are getting way too lucky. I'm getting fucking scared. Okay. Let's see. Okay, he doesn't get flinched. He doesn't get parried. But we are still alive. We're still in this. Okay, come on. Flinch your para. No. No, my annoying hack strategies didn't work. That's so unfortunate. Okay, well. Uh, let's... Let's see. Um, I'll go Ursaluna here. I'll go back into Ursaluna here, and I guess just go for the Blood Moon. Just get damage off on anything that wants to come in. Yeah, we'll go for it. Okay, this should take care of the Primarina. It does, of course. So down he goes. I just, I cannot get over our Paralysis luck. <laughs> Gyarados is a fucking monster. But, uh, let's see. If he wants to go into Archiludon again, that would be nice. Just to let me finish him off with the vacuum wave okay we are gonna actually see the salamence here though so uh, he might just want to kill us so I think I just go for a hyper voice here do I need to use my Terra uh, let's see I am Terra normal on Espeon so probably not probably not so what I want to do yeah we'll Terra hyper voice here even though he probably outspeeds and kills us, there's really no point in saving the Terra Normal on my Espeon because I'm not going to be going for a lot of Hyper Beams. I gotta tell you that much. With two Mons left, I'm not going for my Terra Normal Hyper Beam strats here. Okay, he goes for D-Dance. That's actually 
best possible outcome. That's really like best possible outcome here. So this should do a ton of damage. Hopefully it does enough that we take him down to vacuum wave range. No, it just kills him. Perfect. Fuck you for getting greedy, but also thank you for getting greedy. Because <laughs> that means that we pretty much win here. So that's really good. Yeah, I love that. It's really good. Okay. And this Archaludon is, of course, as good as dead. Because this vacuum wave is just going to take care of him. Battle is canceled, of course. So there we go. Three for three. Three for three for today. So, uh, that'll be it for today. Just a nice, clean, little three matches there. So if you enjoyed, do the YouTuber stuff, you know, like, comment, subscribe if you want. And of course, check the playlist for more Battle Stadium videos. You know, do all of that shit. And I don't know how to end videos, so...